Okay, we need to talk about this forecast because if you haven't heard, it's about to get very, very cold around here overnight into the weekend. It's so crazy we're saying very, very cold because our neighbors to the north have snow. Okay, but this is our thing now. It's cold. Tony, <laughs> take us. us outside. It's not minus two. It's not minus ten. But uh, yes, it is our Florida cold. And if you head into the attractions tomorrow, uh, there's going to be a lot of sunshine, but it is going to be awfully cold. That dome of high pressure now right over that uh, snowpack there in Iowa over towards uh, Illinois. And that's uh, driving in some of that cold air. It doesn't moderate until it gets to the deep south. Front did come through a short time ago. Clouds will slowly Thin out, then head southward as we go through the overnight right through daybreak. Look at the readings now in the 30s up in Mobile, 43 Panama City uh, in the lower 50s. Now in the northern reaches of our viewing area, still near 60, though in a few communities, but not for much longer. Notice the arrows here pointing that cooler air southward with a breeze 5 to 10 picking up a little bit later on. Now for our track shack race here, Park Avenue 5K, it's the wind chills we're worried about for the runners, 38, 39, actual air temperatures in the mid 40s, 915, 48 degrees, slow warming. All right, tomorrow morning uh, up in Marion County, middle 50 should about do it. We head south over towards uh, Webster, uh, over towards Leesburg, 40 42, 39, Umatilla, off towards the south and the east, 45 in Keenisville, Kissimmee, back towards the coast, uh, middle upper 40s west of I-95, east of it on the sand, uh, temperatures running about 50 to 53 degrees, Windermere, you're 44, Oviedo, you're 44, back up towards the land, 40, Palm Coast, 38, up towards Astor, 39, should about do it. Now, the setup for the weekend has that front. Down to the south, the core, the high pressure just to our north Sunday morning. That's going to allow for the coldest air temperatures of the season thus far to move back in. But by later on in the day, notice the arrows on shore, meaning temperatures are going to begin to moderate late Sunday afternoon. Highs tomorrow, though. Quite chilly for this time of the year. Normally, we'd be at about 72 tomorrow. Middle upper 50s to the lower 60s. And then the roar before the 24 going on this weekend. Chilly from start to finish here. Have a jacket at all times as it'll be a little bit uh, cold out there. And winter weather impacts for Sunday morning. We are worried about frost. We are worried about a freeze. We are worried about a dangerously low wind chills. And then... For plants, you're going to have to cover them and or bring them in. The freeze line now for Sunday morning stretches from northeastern Lake County, northern Sumter County, on into Marion County, just south of there elsewhere, 30s and low 40s. The three P's when it comes to cold weather, protect your plants. Breathable cloth if they're in the ground. If they're, uh, again, uh, pots, bring them on inside. Pipes, you can cover those. And again, remember, if you're uh, in a freeze area, Run the pool pump a little bit longer there. And pets, you want to bring them inside. All right, uh, feels like temperatures here for you as we were out the door very early tomorrow morning. Mid to upper 20s in Ocala, upper 30s here in town for the runners. And then as we work our way here on into Sunday, check this out. Getting colder and colder and colder, such that by daybreak Sunday morning, low 20s north, low 30s here in town. So let's take a look now at your updated seven day forecast. We go from the 50s to the 60s on Monday, 70s to 80s Tuesday through Thursday. Nice quick turnaround, guys.